Hello, everyone. <clears throat> I just updated the framework to 4.20. The major updates for this up for this firmware update is uh, in the group setup. Added a bunch of features to the group setup. Um, let me let's take a look at what are these features. So if you click on group setup, <clears throat> you notice now you have a bunch of X's, so you can delete individual ones or you can delete the whole group from, from here. And of course, um, all these, any changes you made is not committed until you hit save. So we can hit cancel and then it'll come back to what it was before. And besides uh, deleting, you can also sort them. So for example, you can now drag and drop these lights to different locations. Um, so for <clears throat> this one is in, I grouped them in the query in one, but if I drag it down to a query in two, and then I hit save, it's going to resort them to, they'll put all the query in ones together and all the query in twos together and so forth. So we can move this one back. And then you got to hit save and then you'll see a change on, on your menus as well. And um, let's say you have the new lights. Now let's just delete a few and hit save. Let's say you added a few lights. Um, and so you can enter in manually one at a time or you can hit auto scan. So in the past, when you hit auto scan, it will delete everything on the list and then re-add everything. So you lose your grouping information. Uh, but now when you add, when you hit auto scan, it would just add the new ones and all the existing ones will just stay the way it is. So here are all the new ones that I added. So I can go and put, um, assign them back to Korean twos. And this is, this is a new one that wasn't there before. So let's set, put this as three. So you see in the name of spotlight. Three. So, uh, in the previous updates, I have what I've done is to help identify which light is what. You can actually click on them. So this is front left. You click on it, and then the front left will blink. Um, front center right. Front center left. Right, and then so the other ones I haven't changed the label, like these. You know, um, and then if you want to change the name so you can you could change you know once you've identified it you can say you know change the name here big a big tank um i don't know just some test okay so when you hit save the name will change as well um and then the other cool thing about the auto scan is that i say you haven't set up um static IPs or reserve IP on your router. So sometimes, you know, the router will assign a different IP on your, to your light. Um, for this example, what I've done is I went on my router and I already changed the IP for this light, the front left. Right now, it's still at 136, but I have changed it. So um, let's see how this works. We load this one up. So once I rebooted it, it will grab the new IP that is assigned from the router. So this is that um, light up in the top left. So just to double check, you know, to change the intensity so you can see that is this is the right light that I'm we're working on. Uh, go to system tools. Now if I reboot it, it should get that new IP, which I think was 45. So if then if I reload, uh, it should just keep thinking and nothing will come up, right? Because we changed the IP address. So just to confirm, 45. So now it loads up. This is still the light in the front left. Yep. 
right? It's still the light in the front left. It's okay. So yeah, so this is the old IP address, so now it doesn't work. Uh, so so now if we go back to this page in the group setup, 136 is still there. So if I click on it, it shouldn't do anything because it's the wrong IP now, right? So for auto scan, ah, there we go. So now it, it updated to 45, right? So if we click on it, and it works. So the auto scan LED will also now update the IP address or add new ones. And then once you've done that, you still have to commit the change and hit save. Now once it's saved, the highlight in red is gone. So, so you know it's it's committed. Okay, that's it. This is the new features in um, the four point two zero.